Right, let's get to the headlines now. Let's see what the headlines are saying across Nigerian newspapers. And I have uh, with me, we're starting with the Blueprint newspaper. Blueprint says, terrorism, federal government considers ban on motorcycle operations, mining activities. That is what the Blueprint newspaper has. Federal government considers ban on motorcycle operations, mining activities. It says population of Okada riders less than 20%. Okay. And uh, to cut terrorist funding sources, and Gucci jail, jail breaks officials behind negligence to face uh, severe sanctions. All right, the, that's the blueprint newspaper. Let's go to leadership now. Leadership newspaper says to curb uh, uh, rising insecurity, federal government plans ban on Okada mining activities nationwide. Federal government ba plans ban on Okada mining activities nationwide. That's what uh, uh, leadership newspaper has. Okay, Daily Times. Jail, uh, Kujay jailbreak. Uh, security agents will be tried for the election of duty. Federal government is saying this. Initiates measures to block terrorists funding. Uh, most total ban on mining ransom payment Okada. Okay, all these are measures the government is trying to take. You see them on the front page of the Daily Times. From there, let's go to uh, this Nigeria. Terrorist attacks, federal government malls national nationwide ban on uh, motorcycles and uh, tightens land borders to uh, prevent armed smuggling to block sources of funding. Boko Haram, banditry. Ari Bushala, the Minister of uh, Interior, heads to roll over, uh, says heads to roll over Kuji jailbreak. Okay, that's uh, that. The Nation newspaper is next. The Nation says federal government considers fresh measures to end terrorism. Ways of Kadaban to cripple insurgents' movement, mining suspension likely to cut funding. And uh, AGF saying terrorists shift to mining, ransom taking to raise funds. Okay, that's what the Nation newspaper has. And then from there, let's go to the Daily Sun. Daily Sun says nationwide ban on Okada looms. The federal government also mulls ban on mining as police allege plot to attack Kano. Okay, that's uh, the Sun newspaper. And that's uh, from Kemi has the rest of the stories. Right. Uh, still in Nigeria here, Vanguard is leading with an update of... Uh, on Shetima's unveiling, that's the vice presidential candidate of the APC, with Tinobu said to be adamant as reactions trail uh, the presence of uh, the uh, what people have called you no know, controversial clergy, some calling them fake uh, clergy, but the, the party and of course its uh, presidential flag bearer is saying they aren't. We didn't hire cleric, the party says. I didn't invite fake Christian clerics. That's according to Ashiwaji Tsunobu. He also adds that um, upcoming bishops attended uh, the event, but Vanguard is saying that uh, one of the clerics, uh, Apostle Obi, says he was at home in Calaba and never in Abuja. That's for Vanguard Business Day, of course, uh, leading with uh, an update on the economy. Petrol subsidy near 6.7 trillion naira as debt service exceeds revenue. That's also uh, the lead story in Daily Trust, as we see next, a uh, projection of, by the government of 6.72 trillion naira petrol subsidy for the year 2023. It's also the same uh, slant for News Direct, the next paper, uh, a mid-field price hike, FG proposes 6.7 trillion naira uh, subsidy for 2023. The 6.7 trillion naira fuel subsidy is also leading in the punch. It says revenue falls by 1.89 trillion naira Nigeria to face tougher times as states and FG will be crippled. This is according to a finance commissioner's forum. Let's check out Nigerian Tribune now. Uh, quarter one of the year 2022, debt servicing exceeds revenue. FG projects 6.72 trillion naira fuel subsidy uh, for the coming year. Nigeria imported 202.9 million metric tons of petrol from 2015 till date. That's according to uh, Nigerian Navy officials uh, who were uh, addressing uh, lawmakers. 
Nigeria on fiscal cliff as debt service trounces revenue. This is on The Guardian. Nigeria on fiscal cliff as debt service trounces revenue. Petrol subsidy nears 6.7 trillion naira and fiscal deficit exceeds 3 trillion naira in four months. Mike. Hmm. Well, it's, it's uh, headlines, diverse headlines, I must say. Uh, and as it is, just covering various areas. We're talking about the... Uh, the likely ban or the consideration of the ban on uh, commercial motorcycles as well as uh, mining in, in the country. Now, if you see how uh, uh, the nation puts it, uh, terrorists shift uh, to mining and ransom taking to raise funds. Uh, because the point there is, uh, we, all, we have heard how, especially in the Northeast, where Boko Haram has been... Uh, has, has been prevalent or has held their stronghold for several years or for many years. Uh, security agents have been able to block their areas of uh, movement. Mm. They, they, don't, they are not able to move freely. Their, their, their source of food supply and network have been, you know, caught. So they are not able to move like that. And then uh, that's why some people say that uh, some of the elements you see in other parts of the country uh, were elements in the northeast before. So they are trying to devise new ways. And where you find mining, especially like gold and some other, uh, you know, especially in Zafara and all of that, of course, things like that are going to thrive. Illegalities of, of mining, of course, it's a big business, um, you know, everywhere, especially in areas where they have uh, this um, commodity in large quantities. But, of course, the concern ha has lingered about, you know, curbing illegal mining operations. Mm. We've seen uh, avoidable deaths arising from this kind of ventures. And, of course, the fact that it's also like a cash cow mm. for terrorists now. So this uh, has now prompted, um, you know, the federal government, the council of states now to, to devise means to curb it um, altogether, in addition to, of course, you know, more stricter measures. We talked earlier on about uh, a possible ban on um, nationwide uh, bike operations, commercial uh, bike operations and, and all that. Well, it remains to be seen how all the states will, will give their buy-in, but seeing as this is security, uh, and almost every state, no state is immune uh, to the security challenges. So, so one expects that, um, uh, like Sam said, you know, everyone will have his or her eyes on the future and, you know, make um, decisions uh, that are needed yeah. at this time. The, the, but the, however, the point there is the fact that it's a national security issue uh, the government should try to have a wide range of consultation to bring everybody on board to have a buy-in into the likelihood if they are going to go ahead with the banning of motorcycles. We know it's a security issue and the decision has to be taken, but when it becomes a political issue, then it's going to be a back and forth and back and forth and back and forth because for a state like, say, Cross River State or a quiet bomb state, for instance, where you don't have direct threats of uh, commercial motorcycle, uh, motorcycle activity with terrorism directly, uh, well, they, they might they might be reluctant to say okay, we are, because they no, have. But, but quiet bomb doesn't even have. Uh, I'm, I'm just anymore. saying. I'm yeah. just saying. States that are far even from in the south, that's exactly that's states, that's in the states, states in the south that are far south. from the north, where mm. you, you you don't directly connect motorcycle activities with uh, terrorism, up except. Issues like robbery here and there, where they are used, and, and all of that, uh, you might want to have a buy-in of those kind of states. You know. Well, you're right. Those yeah. negotiations are needed. Mm. Yeah, but uh, you know, one thing is that you have to have a strategy. Right. Mm. Uh, do they have the strategy, and then do they have the will? Mm. Uh, it, it's been obvious uh, in the fight against terrorism that they've had neither. So, if you want to come up with this new policy. We have to really interrogate whether you really have mm -hmm. the strategy and the will to implement this strategy. Those two things are, are very important. And though the spillover effect itself is real. One of the fears in Lagos has been, and in the South, right. is that there was a spillover Indeed. from the North. Mm -hmm. And uh, even places like Edo, they talk about the mm -hmm. spillover effect. And even the Southeast, you know, so you see that. Uh, um, you can't have that kind of policy in isolation. You have to take a sweep of the whole country in order to make it work. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's supposed to be a drastic decision. And if we want to fight terrorism, we cannot do it 
by uh, by just uh, swatting the fly. You need to crush it. Yeah. Mm. And I'm um, talking about the spillover effect to uh, well, um, opponents of this policy in the states that have you know tried it out have of course alluded to the the realities of an increased wave and crime. And during this um, the the June. Um, enforcement of the order here in Lagos. Of course, uh, towards that um, kickoff time, there were assurances by the police, by the state government, that all hands were on deck, uh, you know, to ensure uh, a full enforcement of the policy. And, and like I also said earlier, that seem, seems to be the case now because we have, um, we, we seem to have some form of sanity and, and order in that direction. But, you know, sustainability is also an issue, you know, you know, taking it further, keeping at it and all that to be sure that, you know, Lagosians are, are safe. We still have realities of crime waves, alarming wave of crime on the highways, even in houses, uh, even in Abuja, of course, the, the, the raid uh, on the Kujie Correctional Center, we understand that a number of the, the criminals even came on, on, on bikes and, and all that. So there will be need to to weigh the effects of a ban like this, to be sure that all hands are on deck to ensure full enforcement uh, for the good of everyone, so that mm -hmm. everyone remains yeah. safe, even after the take of a policy as yeah. sensitive as this. Well, yeah. On the international scene, uh, the British uh, uh, Prime Minister mm -hmm. fight has taken a new dimension. There are now two, and you have... Um, uh, Rishi Sunak and mm. uh, Sunak and, and, and Le Le Stross is said to be leading. Stross, the Stross mm. is now leading in the poll, uh, taking of lawmakers. So uh, I don't know the real point against the Stross um, um, Sunak. Sunak, mm. uh, probably too that uh, it was with it was with. Uh, uh, Johnson until he was not. <laughs> <laughs> but same as Lee. The Stross, the Stross, 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 Stross less so because. Right. Well, the Strauss was not so such a committed personality as such mm. uh, in the way Sunak, Sunak was. was. Uh, there, maybe, maybe there was also there's also the issue of taxes. Also's policy about taxes are mm. more important or not. Mm. And, and maybe who knows? Maybe the issue of race has come into fact. Oh, well, no, of course, who knows? Who knows? that might also uh, be a that, that is even yeah. stated. But, but, but the fact yeah. that yeah. he has even gotten to the, to, the, to this it's, it's, point it's, it's is something. also commendable. It's something, but you know. You know, there's something they call in Yoruba. They say Shuroye. Mm. You know, did you did you see the crown? Mm. You saw the crown, but you didn't mm. get there. You know, mm. it's like uh, Tantalos. Mm. You know, Tantalos is this Greek. Um, uh, this is a Greek, Greek myth about uh, the fruit that is already hanging. That's where the word tantalizing. Sometimes oh, tantalizing. Oh, I see. Tantalos, Within your reach. You know, mm. it is there. You want to pick it. Oh, it's, it's not there. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got, I, plucked, I plucked the orange, but the orange keeps going. Keeps yeah. going further. <laughs> well, at least right. you are very close. Well, you are close. Well, <laughs> well. And that gives you some, uh, some feeling yeah. of... Right, yeah. right. And even yeah. in the future, well, who yeah. knows if uh, such opportunities will come along uh, for mm. he and uh, others. The, for, for, the, for, for, in fact, the, the British, uh, the, you know, houses of common and lords, uh, have been have been uh, they've proven over time that mm. they are liberal Mix enough. Of, uh, you know, people right, coming in, right. all races cultures, coming in. Right. You know, we've seen Africans, we've seen we, 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 in the, the Southern the Americans. Labor, we, had, we also had Umuna. Ah, yeah, exactly. Who, who was also in the running, of course, for the leadership mm. of the Labour Party. So, so maybe it, it will have been more lively because you know. As the, 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 the present uh, Labour leader, his name is Stammer. Which I don't know whether he's, he's not a Stammer, but he's uh, Stammer. <laughs> <He's Stammer. laughs> they asked him, uh, you know, uh, why are you Labour leaders boring? <laughs> <laughs>